Shannon, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey guys, I am Shannon Kerr and I am the founder of Heidi Socks. Awesome. All right, you guys, so we're gonna get ready for a walk, but before we do, I just noticed something, okay? So if you take a look at Shannon's shoes, you can see that the sole increases at the back. Well, as great as these shoes look, they are nice. I'm gonna have her take the shoes off, not because her socks are amazing, but because when you go to squat in shoes like this, your form is gonna be completely off and your body's gonna shift forward in a squat. So when you're looking for a training shoe, you wanna find a shoe that's completely flat all the way across, all right? This is gonna give you more stability on the floor and keep you a lot more balanced and allow you to actually utilize the muscles that you want in your workout, all right? So go ahead and kick those off. All right. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and kick mine off too because I have the same socks. <laughs> so we'll be twinning. Twinning Twins. today. All right, so let's go ahead and get into today's, work, today's warm up. So we're gonna interlock those fingers behind us. Legs hip width apart. And we're gonna hip hinge, pushing the hips back as we lean forward, come back into a standing position. With your knees, you don't wanna push them backwards and you don't wanna use them as a squat. So you just wanna use most of the hips, leave your knees in neutral position as you lean forward and stand. Tighten the glutes as you stand. So lean, looking down, tighten the booty, and then back down. Nice and warm, ready to go. So, 
second round, we have a burnout. All out, everything we got, all right? So that's considered one round. We have two rounds, all right? Total of 20 minutes. Are you ready? Let's do this. Timer started, we're gonna start with devil tosses. Grab your weights, you're gonna jump back, lay down, all the way to the floor, come up, jump into a squat, and then toss from in between the legs. All right, so down, and you can step, step, lay down, up, step, step, butt down, eyes up, and then toss. All right, so these are our double tosses. When you do that, you wanna make sure your feet are completely planted. Jump, lay down, up, wide squat, so you wanna make sure the feet are completely planted. Wide squat, hips down, toss all the way up. Good. All right, moving on to our next exercise, we need one dumbbell in between our legs. We're gonna do a half squat, down, up, curl, push, down, down, half squat, clean, push. So when you clean, come on up, roll your shoulder, and push. All right, so the heavier your weight, the more you're gonna need that rolling motion into the shoulder, so practice now. And every time you press, you exhale. So it's gonna get a lot easier for you to push heavier weight if you practice your breathing now. Switch arms, same thing, other side. Down, pull, breathe. Down, hips back, pull, breathe. Make sure you're pushing your hips back, not the knees forward, hips back. So drop, hips back, weight into your heels, exhale. All right, we need help with that. Toes up, lift, and push. If you have heavy weights, you can use a little bounce for your push. All right, drop, bounce, push. If your weight is too heavy for you, but you wanna be pushing yourself to use that heavier weight, you can still do it. Just utilize that small, Push right in here. All right, we're gonna grab both weights. Bring them up to our shoulders. We're gonna have our hip legs hip width apart. Squat down, but when we come up, we're gonna rotate the back foot and push. There you go, come back center, squat down. Other side, rotate that back foot. Both weights go up, down, push both weights. Good, down, push both weights. Good, so rotate that core. Stay on those heels, dropping down as low as you can go. Exhale, remember with the breathing, exhale. Good, all right, so going back to our first exercise, double tosses, down, uh, room for you to lay down, jump, lay down, up, wide squat, feet planted, so wider squat. You want your feet on the outside of the dumbbells. Butt down, chest up, use your hips. There you go. That way you're not using your lower back to toss the weight. Squat, eyes up, then toss. All right, these are the small differences that will keep you from feeling that lower back pain that usually happens when you're pulling or lifting Improperly. Good. All right, pushing one dumbbell down. Going into our clean and press. Down, clean, push. Back down. Down, clean, push. Good. Down, clean, push. Almost there. Good breathing. Exhale. There it is. There we go. You got it. Yes, keep going. 10 seconds. Every breath counts. Last rep on this arm. Let's move to the other side. All right, drop hips. Weight into the heels. Pull. Drop down the hips. Pull. Exhale your air. Good. Hold the breath. Yeah. 
together. Five, four, last one. Woo! Let's grab both weights. Going into those rotating thrusters. Dumbbells up. We're gonna squat. Pivot that back foot to push. Rotate that core. Really feel the stomach rotating. This is how we're gonna build that nice hourglass figure without doing a crunch. Yes. <laughs> right? All right, right into those heels. Good. All right, so this is our last exercise before we go into that burn -off. Okay, we got 10 push-up climbers with 10, or sorry, five squat hops. It's all body weight. I'll show you what a push-up climber is. Go ahead and drop down. So, in plank, you pull one knee in, put it back, lay all the way down. Other side, up, other knee, back. And that counts as two. Every time the knee comes in, that's a rep. Four, we got 10 reps. Five, all the way down, up, six, all the way down, up, seven, all the way down, up, eight, nine, last rep, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump into a squat, okay? We got five, four, three, two, one, hands down, do it again. All the way back, up, one, Two, your shoulders should be on fire. Three, four, five. Keep those arms underneath the armpits as you push. They should be all in alignment. Six, seven, eight. Woo! Pop up, you are under rest. Woo! Okay, so that's one round, you guys. All right, we have to do the whole series all over again. But you know the workout now. Okay? It's gonna be a lot easier this time around. We're gonna push a lot harder because we know what we're doing. Grab water if you need it. You got 20 seconds. <laughs> you got 20 seconds. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Gain back control of the heart rate. In. Exhale. Good. Drink your water. Go ahead and put it back down. We're gonna grab both dumbbells. Double tosses. Dropping all the way down. Down. Make room for you to lay in between. Up. Squat. Eyes up. Use your hips to toss. Back down. All the way to the floor. Here we go. Squat. Eyes up. There it is. Good. Breathe. Exhale the top, back down. So we're moving a little bit faster. But remember, you don't have to stop. You can use that modifier. Step, step, lay down. Step, step, hips, chest, and toss. All right. Put one dumbbell down. Legs hip width apart. Pick an arm. Hips back. Clean and press. Clean and press. Control your breathing in. Exhale. So each motion has its own breath. In, exhale, in, exhale, in, exhale, in, exhale. There you go. Breathe in, exhale, breathe in, exhale. Good. One more rep. Good, switch hands at the bottom. Going to the other side. Here we go, Sit down, clean, press. There you go. Almost there. Breathe through it. Come on, don't stop now. We're already past the halfway point. Don't leave us hanging. as challenging for us as it is for you. Come on, 10 seconds. Right after this, we're 
We're going into those rotating thrusters. We're gonna grab both weights in five. Last round. Woo! Grab both weights. Legs hip width apart. Up to the shoulders. Squat center. Pull those knees open, weight into your heels. Rotate that back foot. Bring those arms lined up with your ear as you push up. Wind the arms up next to the ears. Next to the ears. So it almost feels like you're pushing your arms back behind you as a press. So now push forward, push back. Push back. Woo, there we go. But straight. Straight and back. Last rep. All right. Dropping down.
to reach your goal. As always, take it one day, one meal, and one workout at a time. And I'll see you in the next workout. Alright you guys, welcome back. My name is Alex Garazaro. I am the owner of the Brian Body Shop, a lifestyle strategist and weight loss expert. And today I am with Shannon. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey guys, my name is Shannon Kerr. I'm out of breath because we just did an Alex workout. <laughs> which was 100%, I mean, my arms feel like they're spaghetti, which is amazing. That's how you know you're working out really well. <laughs> and uh, Alex invited me on the show because I am the founder of Heidi Socks. And if you guys haven't heard of what Heidi Socks are, they're on our feet. We work out with them. And uh, I designed these because I was tired of my socks falling off. If you guys have ever worn mm -hmm. the little no-show socks, the little liner ones that look like this but without a strap, the problem is they always fall off, right? They never work. There's like no point to wearing them. So I got tired of it and designed these ones with the strap because I knew if it had a strap, it would stay on. And then added genuine Swarovski crystals to add style. Yes. So you guys, these weren't made to work out in, but we just work out in them. Okay. <laughs> and they literally stay for like almost 20 minutes. Like, like I, I was just like, okay, if they stay while we're working out, maybe there's like one little you know blooper because. The floor is a little hard. Yeah, but the floor is super hard. And you're supposed to work out with them in shoes. If yes. they had been in shoes. If they had been in shoes, they would totally stay still. <laughs> but the point is, like, even with this hard surface, okay, and working out on them, they stayed in place. Like, it was, it was insane. So, I personally love them. And not to mention, like, you could, it just gives you a little character, you know? That little, I have this thing where it's, like, classy with a bit of edge. And so, that's kind of how I describe my style. So when I saw these, I was like, these are so cool. Like you have, you know, people wore with heels, tennis shoes, like that, you know, just grocery store visit. Like, it's just like a little, oh, what is that? All right. I get stopped all the time. Like I wear them every single day and I even get customers that tell me like, oh, Shannon, I wear your socks, you know, whatever, to the grocery store or to a restaurant. And somebody literally stopped me to compliment my shoes because they look like it's part of your shoe when you wear them with your or high heels. And my customers will just like take off their shoe and be so excited to show the other person. It's the coolest thing in the world. It's yeah, amazing. yeah. And you were trying to get on Shark Tank, how to... Yeah, so I went through the first two interviews of Shark Tank last year. And the lady who interviewed me, I thought I for sure made it. Because she was like so in love with the story and she was so in love with the sales and just like the idea, the design of it. I gave her samples, she loved them. And she really hyped me up thinking that I made it, and unfortunately I did it. And on the last season, I don't know if anybody was watching, but there was another sock company, not like Heidi Socks at all, they're like long socks that come up to here and they have a little pocket, but the CEO of that company is a 13 year old super cute girl, so I was like, alright, I can't compete with that, alright, alright. Yes. So I went to reapply this year, but because COVID-19, they canceled all of the interviews. So it's kind of on a hold. They have my product still, so I don't know. We'll see. They could call me up and say, hey, we see like your sock. Like, come to this season, but we'll see. I'm still waiting on it. Well, I love that. Okay, so we see all of the success that you've had, right? I've seen, you know, you on <laughs> Shark Tank. I see you all over the community. I'm like, who is this kind of <laughs> socks, right? Everybody knows wearing them. <laughs> but what I like to tell people is, you see what we are and where we are now, mm -hmm. but you're missing the whole story before. Oh my gosh, yeah. So let's tell them the story before so that they don't think like this just happened overnight. Right? No, not at all. So originally I had the idea for Heidi Socks when I was 19 years old. I had just moved to Bakersfield. I got my first corporate job working in the office, and that's how I came up with the idea because I was dressing professional, like, you know, slacks. I'd wear flats, collared shirts, dressing business. Um, casual, and that's when I realized the problem with my socks going on. Mm. And I thought that I just had weird feet because I have really high arches, so I was like, oh, this is probably just a problem for me. And I searched online to see if there's any solution, and there wasn't. So I went home and literally sat down on my kitchen floor. I don't know why I chose my kitchen, but I did. <laughs> and I put on a regular sock just like this, like that comes all the way up. Oh, okay. Like an angle uh -huh. sock. And I put on my flat, and I literally cut out this design. Because I knew if, if I left a strap on it, then it would stay. And so I had just done these for me, like not thinking about anybody else. And then after some time, I talked to a bunch of other women, and they're like, oh my god, my socks always fall off too. It's the worst problem in the world. Yada, yada, yada. So I'm 19, I have this great idea. Man, I don't have resources. I don't have like 
any money I could borrow, I'm eating off the dollar menu at Taco Bell, like, how am I supposed to start a business? <laughs> so I researched everything online, and it took me two years to actually come out with the packaged product. I had to find a factory, I got denied by like every business loan, because they all said that I had to be in business for three years. I'm like, how is anybody supposed to start a business and get a business loan if you haven't been in business for three years? So I got denied, was told no, um, I even had like some people that are really close to me, when I brought up the idea, they made fun of it oh. because they didn't see the vision. And I remember one time I was in a restaurant and I was talking about my product before it had come out, before it had all this success. And they were literally like mocking it and making fun of it. And I went to the bathroom and I like cried my eyes out. And I came back and, you know, like refreshing myself. So hopefully they couldn't tell, but they could. And, so there were a lot of obstacles, like got denied, didn't have the money, you know, I even had some of my closest people make fun of it, but I still knew that there were women who needed a soft and fall. Like, mm -hmm. as women, we have a bazillion problems. <laughs> like, we don't need our socks falling off, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we need a reliable sock. So I continued with it, I've literally poured every single penny that I've, like, ever made since I was 19, since I had this vision into this product, and um, I kept my corporate job um, for three years after I launched the business. So total, I was at that corporate job for six years. I finally gave them my two week notice in October to do Heidi Sock School time because Christmas is our biggest season and I just wanted to be 100% in for my business. So I gave my notice to them, quit October 2019. December was great, our sales were flourishing, it was awesome, and then COVID hit. <laughs> Late January, um, and so business, it's been difficult. It's been really hard. Like people don't see the back end. They don't see me working till 1 a.m. if I need to. Um, all the obstacles, you guys, it's the most difficult thing I've ever had to do in my whole entire life. I love that. I love your story, one. Because I feel like with every journey, there is there are people who just don't understand it. And a lot of people stop right there in their tracks because yeah. they feel defeated, they feel oh, insecure. Yeah. I have I had the same thing with my journey. Though. I have a you know my family's unhealthy. Um, when I started as an entrepreneur working out at home, yeah, um, I went to one of my family members like, hey, can you back me for an investment? And you know, this, I really feel strongly about this, and they like laugh like, you can't make money like that. That's ridiculous. Oh. And then like literally it flourished in like eight months, and they yeah. were like, oh, congratulations. And so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> They're like, thank you. <laughs> you know, these are things that really we all face. But you only become successful if you see it as a gift of showing you that you're stronger. And that strength to persevere is yeah. what's actually going to make you successful. And it's only perseverance, you guys. You can have whatever deal or deal. You can have whatever idea mm -hmm. that you want. And it's okay if other people don't see yeah. the vision of it. All that matters is that you alone, just one person, mm -hmm sees the vision and you're willing to put in the work. There were many nights I got four hours of sleep because mm -hmm. I was working my corporate job. I'd work my corporate job, I'd come home, stay up with Heidi Socks till one or two in the morning, wake up at 6 a.m. and do it all over again. And it's what I had to do yeah. in order to grow the business. So as long as you're willing to put in the work yeah. and you're passionate about it, it doesn't matter what your mom says. It doesn't yeah. matter what your sister says, your brother says, yeah. you can make it happen if you put in the work. Exactly, exactly. I was known for a long time as the 3 a.m. workout girl. Because that was literally the only time. I had two kids under two. Oh. Right? Oh, so I was hard. a stay-at-home mom, so I had, like, I was old school. My husband had to have breakfast. He had to have lunch pack. He had, had dinner ready. Like, I was, I'm super old school. Not so much anymore. But <laughs> I was. And so I wake up at three. It was the only time that I could fit in a workout. Right. And have the rest of my day to spend with my kids. And so, I, for years, you know, but that just goes to show you, like, how bad do you want it? Yep. You have to be willing to put in these hours at hours that seem crazy. Mm -hmm. But in reality, they're not crazy. It's passion. It wakes you up. It's like, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm working on a lot of things right now that I'm so, so excited about. And like this, like, I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> she has to be like the same mindset. And like to have, find a community that you can surround yourself with who understand the vision because when those people who try and defeat you take you down, mm -hmm. you can turn to people who are have an understanding and come to them and be open and real and honest and they'll tell you like, I'm here, I got you, you're not alone, let's move through this together. So you were saying COVID 
has kind of stopped. So what's what's crazy is my online business is flourishing like it never has before, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like I'm so 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 grateful for every single person who has purchased a pair of Heidi socks. But my bread and butter for my business was my retail store. So mm -hmm. we were in 93 locations around the U.S. when COVID-19 hit. And all of my locations have been forced to close their doors because they're not essential businesses. And so my, my bread and butter of expanding hiding socks and getting the word out there with these boutiques and these casinos and these salons closed doors. So we're not, it hit us financially mm -hmm. with our sales because our retail stores are closed, but online we're booming. We're at double uh, this month. We are double our sales than what we were this month last year. And I checked that last night because I was, I was feeling a little defeated. I was like, I don't know what to do. I just quit my corporate job. Like, business is booming. And then who would have known COVID-19 was going to hit? And I quit my stable salary health insurance job. Mm -hmm. And so I've been really stressing out. But if I really look at it and saw my numbers yesterday, I'm like, Shannon, you are terrible. You're all in sales on what you were last year. And I'm still connecting with my retail stores because I do care about them. I have pretty good relationships with all of them. And that's 93 locations, you guys. And so I called the first boutique ever to carry Heidi Socks, and she is local here in Bakersfield, California. You guys probably know Sugar Daddy's Women's Boutique out of Stockdale. Three years ago, they were the first boutique to ever carry my product. I, it was so crazy. I walked in their boutique. First, I called me an appointment, went in not really knowing like anything about business, didn't even know like really much about wholesale and retail. I walk in with like a basket full of socks and my iPad to show them <laughs> pictures of the product. Like, these amateur pictures that I had taken, you know, and I walk in and the owners of the boutique, they just loved Heidi Socks, like right away. It wasn't even like, it was the easiest, best sales pitch I've ever done in my whole entire life because they instantly saw the vision and they saw me and they promoted it like crazy. To this day, I give Sugar Daddy's Women's Boutique huge credit for Heidi Socks growing as fast as it did because they're a well-known business in Bakersfield. They've been in business for almost 38 years now. And they're all around the community. They give back. They're the most amazing boutique ever. And so now that their doors are closed, I was thinking, okay, Shannon, your retail doors are closed. Like, what can I do to help them? Like, not just about sales. Like, what can I do? So I thought of the idea of doing Fashion Fridays on my social media where I go on Facebook or Instagram live with my boutiques. And they sell the product that they have. And so I did it with Sugar Daddy's Women's Boutique, and I don't know if I should say her sales, but you guys, in one and a half hours, let me just say, she, she sold with a 40% discount over $1,000 in one and a half hours for my social media following of just me highlighting her. Say, hey, let's sell your product through my community and let's work together. So yeah. that's, it's been really cool because I've been showing my retail stores like, hey, I really care about you and you're not just a number to me. Yeah, exactly. So. And that just goes to show too, like there's, there's a lot to this story. So one, like when we look at COVID, we look at the facilities that are closed, right? The stores. But we're not looking at the smaller companies within those stores yeah. that are taking hits as well. Oh yeah. And so as you know, much as we're you know trying to thrive and have our community come back to life, let's look at it as a whole. Let's try and really reach out, you know, look out for each other. So okay. I love that fashion prize. I mean, I'm happy to do like a, a trends Tuesday or something. That would know. be awesome. Let yes. me know. I yes. love fashion. Um, but just things like this, you guys, do not be afraid to reach out, to ask, to say, hey, I'm here. Even if they don't know you, you guys, this is our first like in-person row meeting. Really? And really? I, you know, <laughs> there was a time where I was an introvert. I would have never been doing this, but if you really want to expand who you are, your business, your success, your life, your community, reach out, ask, ask if they need help. Um, a lot of times I get reached out to and it's like, it's not that it's wrong, it's not that it's bad, it's just like, I, it's something I used to do and that I learned from was that I was like, what can they do for me? But what I learned is what can I do for you? It's about serving people, you guys. That's how your business is going to grow. And that's truly how you become successful. So for anybody who's an entrepreneur, anybody who's in business, anybody who's really struggling to make it work to kind of go to that next level, stop to think, what can I do for them? Whether it's free, time, service, promoting, the little things. You don't have to necessarily shell out money, although that's a great you know thing to do if you can. Um, sharing on Facebook. Sharing. It takes no money. 
you can share somebody's local small business, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. Those things mean the world to us because word of mouth is the best form of advertising. Because if we're best friends mm -hmm. and you tell me about this new product, hey Shannon, I got the best shoes. They're not like your Nikes, you're gonna be able to about them, they're flat, da 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 da, and you're raving about it. I'm like, oh, I trust you because mm -hmm. we're close. And I think I want to purchase those shoes. It builds automatic trust. Exactly. And it's simple. It's free, you guys. Just sharing Facebook or Instagram posts. You can't believe how much that really helps small businesses. I love it. Thank you for, for joining us. Let's just put it all together, you guys. If you have an idea, do not hesitate. Go for it. If you're feeling defeated, if people surrounding you are not supporting you, find a support group. And if you're an entrepreneur, really think outside the box to really propel your service. Um, and your business forward by serving instead of asking. So thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for, for coming. I appreciate it. Thanks for working. And out. we will talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Bye. Have a good day.